G'day guys and welcome to Stay Awake, where I encourage everyone who's watching to stay awake to what's really going on in the world. In this video I'd like to teach those who don't already know how to identify different symbols, signals and hand signs that the elite use all around us to portray codes and messages. I will go through a few of the major ones and show you what they mean. Let's take a look. This hand gesture symbolizes the satanic system, the devil, and all things that are evil. It can be known as El Diablo, which is Spanish for devil, hook'em horns, devil fingers, devil horns, sign of the horns, and the horned salute. Let's see some politicians, musicians, actors, and different people in the media doing this hand gesture. <laughs> hand gesture is commonly known as the OK hand sign for when something is good, but in reality it has been popularized because of its more sinister understanding in esoteric circles. What is esoteric? Well exoteric is most basic and common knowledge. The basic information that's accessible to anyone. Esoteric knowledge, on the other hand, is not widely known and it's mostly a hidden understanding. Esoteric symbolisms and signs is what the elite use. It helps them to give messages to each other and letting people know their affiliations. If we can understand the symbolisms and what they really mean, we can better understand their satanic agenda. For instance, this OK hand sign is a satanic sign meaning 666 to show others an allegiance with Satan.
symbol here is mostly wide known as the peace sign, but sometimes people say it means V for victory. Also, it does connect to Satanism. The meaning for the Hebrew letter for V is nail. Now, nail is one of the secret titles of Satan within the brotherhood of Satanism. Satan is letting us know this is one of his favorite signs. Much like this symbol here is widely known as the peace sign. But does it really mean peace? Because if you look at this part here, it's really an upside down broken cross, which kind of looks like a crow's foot. It's the symbolism of the Antichrist. This symbol here is the Vulcan sign. But what people don't know is that Vulcan was a sun deity who was associated with fire, thunderbolts, and light. In a Masonic quiz book, the question is asked, who was Tobol Cain? The answer is, he is the Vulcan of the pagans. So this is a pagan symbol representing Lucifer or the devil. This symbol here is known as the rock sign, which is short for Rockefeller. It's a pyramid, like the eye in a pyramid. It's also portrayed as a diamond. Most people recognize that it is the sign of the Illuminati. But what if it's upside down? This is used mostly by politicians or other elite. It is known as the Merkel rate. This symbolism is called the hidden eye, sometimes hiding the right eye, sometimes hiding the left eye. It represents the all-seeing eye, the eye of Lucifer or the eye of Horus. These are Masonic handshakes. Notice that the thumb is over the other person's hand, which symbolizes power and authority, but also giving a signal to the other elites of who's in charge. This symbolism here is the Nazi salute, made famous by Hitler himself. It's a fascist symbol. This symbolism is the hidden hand. It's the hidden hand of the men of Jabalan or Jabalon. It's the sign of the master of the second veil. It's used in masonry. And the real god of masonry is Satan. What about the hand over the heart? This is known as the devil's claw, the lion's paw, or the hand on heart. The sign of the hand over the heart represents a reminder of the Masonic obligation of silence from the fellow craft degree in which the heart shall be torn out if a Mason were to break his Masonic oath. Karl Marx is the founder of modern communism. Marx is said to have been a 32nd degree Grand Orient Freemason. Here he is depicted with the hidden hand symbolism. This symbolism here is as above so below, depicted in this picture of Baphomet, which is the goat god, representing Satan, the horned god of Freemasons. It's revered in Satanism and witchcraft a mockery of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. It's depicted as a hermaphrodite, both male and female. And notice that there on his head is not only a pentagram in the center of his head representing the third eye, the eye of Lucifer or Satan, but also a torch above his head, like the light bearer representing Lucifer before his fall from heaven. Have you ever wondered why it's rude to point at somebody? Maybe it's because in ancient days this forefinger was regarded as venomous, and even in present times it's rude to point, especially with this finger. Pointing the finger away from the body is known in occult circles as the sign of faith, while pointing upwards is the sign of perseveration. The middle finger salute. Everybody knows that pointing this finger at somebody is really rude and disrespectful. But what else does this symbolize? This finger of Saturn, Satan, symbolizes the borderline state between consciousness and the unconscious. The middle finger represents the phallus of the sun god Baal, Ra, or Nimrod, as does the thumb, and the folded fingers in this position represent other parts of the male body. This symbol here is sometimes called the Shaka, or call me. Sometimes it's also known as hang loose, commonly used in Hawaii 
as part of the surf culture. Hawaiians use the shaka to convey the aloha spirit, a concept of friendship and understanding, compassion and solidarity among various ethnic cultures that reside in Hawaii. But what does it really mean? This sign in reality is the witch sign or a symbolic symbol saluting the rising moon in pagan moon worship. You can read about moon worship in Job 31, 26 to 28, or Deuteronomy 4, 19, or 17, 2 to 7. It can also depict devil horns. This symbol is known as the shh sign, which is commonly known as be quiet. But what is not widely known is that this symbol is used by members of elite secret societies to portray secrecy and loyalty to their cause, to never break the oath of their secret agenda. If you don't know about secret societies, I will go into detail about them in a later video, so stay tuned. What is also really interesting is that this symbol links to the ancient Greek god Hippocrates, who was the god of silence. <laughs> This symbol is the yin and the yang. They are the good, the bad, the dark, the light, the moon, the sun, female, male, positive energy, negative energy. Basically, it's this whole duality thing, good and evil are one, as above, so below, doesn't matter if you're male or female, doesn't matter if you do right or wrong, good or evil, it doesn't matter, it's all the same, it's all good. <laughs> That's what these people think, and it's completely false, and it is Baphomet, ideology. There's even a quote from Wen Tzu from 1992. The quote says, life and death are one, right and wrong are the same. Now I completely disagree. This is disgusting. Life and death are not one and right and wrong are not the same. They're completely different. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like me to cover other signs and symbols, write me a comment. And also check out the signs and symbols links in the description below. God bless you and as always, stay awake.